Hey everyone, we're back on the theme of houses for one euro today. Actually, I'm excited to show you this one to you. No, I'm still waiting for more information from the Comune itself to understand if there are properties available on the market today. In 2017, Termini Emerese joined the initiative of One Euro Homes. At least that's how it appears. Reading through a number of Italian articles all resulted with the same points. Following the footsteps of Ganji, they were going to mediate between property owners and buyers. There were instructions for owners to submit the properties for promotion. There was a list of documents required to do so and the understanding that they will need to keep their properties on the list for a minimum of two years. Well, it's been just over two years. I'm curious what the results are. What makes this community different from others offering one euro homes it is its vicinity to the sea. That's Palermo right over there and we're headed off to Termini. I was down on the beat. No, I was farther. I was on the other side of this one. But uh, right here, maybe there, <laughs> there was a house that was confiscated from the mafia. They basically declared it. And it looks like I found one of about 188 just in Sicily that are being reutilized, having been previously occupied by the mafia. Gotta catch them all, I guess. Okay, so right now I'm actually headed off towards Termini Imerese because it was one of the property, one of the cities that uh, had houses for one euro. And I want to see if there's anything available or what I can find there. Uh, it's been a while for that city and so I think that most of them are probably gone. Well, I'll see what I find. On my way to Termini Emerese, there was something I just had to do. So it took me a while, but I think I found it. Yeah, here we go. Oh, well, this is nice. It's not sandy beaches, it's more like pebble beaches. Anyway, between uh, the train tracks and there's this train tracks, a road that I followed, a one way street, and then on the left side, there are just property, property, property that have direct access to the beach right here. You can see it, much of it is rocks. This one little access here for the public to come down and freely swim, I guess. Curious how warm it is. I imagine that uh, nobody swims anymore. So Palermo is right over there. No, right over there. Whoa, whoa. Tried to get me that time. I've swam in colder, that's for sure. I could swim in it. <laughs> Comparing the beaches here to the beaches I'm used to in Italy, are, those are in Lecce, uh, well, near Lecce, in Puglia, Apulia. And those are sandy, sandy beaches. This has obviously got more rocks, more stone. Enough playing around, it's time to head off. Termini Imereza is nestled against Sicily's northern coast with its community built both on top and gradually sloping down a cliff overlooking the sea, one hour from Palermo, Italy. That's a major reason I was attracted to this community. I decided on my first day in Sicily to see what it was like there, so I'm gonna share it with you. I, I parked out by the beach and then I decided to go talk to the comune, the city hall. I'm walking about 15 minutes just to see the city, see what I can see next to the sea. <laughs> um, anyway, let's see. I'll let you know what they let me know about whether there's any other properties left on auction. It's pretty nice. I like it. There's like an upper area. I think I'm gonna have to climb the hill. They put these up for decorating during their Sagre uh, festivals. Chances are, the houses are sold. They've been on the market for a few years. But, it's definitely an, an experience going walking through these places. They're next to the beach. They've been here for centuries. Uh, people live this life every day. It's crazy. Everything gets more beautiful as I go. Amazing there's no one out here. <laughs> Portions of this video should be titled Davo Exploring an Empty Town Alone, Seeing No One. <laughs> but this time, I don't recall seeing any cats. Maybe because there are a lot more people roaming the streets than in the previous videos. 
I even saw some children playing in the streets. Can you imagine doing this every day? Twice, three times, four times. It's a big hill. So I just realized why, why there's no one out here is because it's lunchtime, um, 12.20 exactly. So I bet you everyone's cooking uh, their fish. <laughs> I assume fish, the beach is right there. Cooking their pasta. You guys, this morning I woke up, it was raining, I was cold and now I'm hot <laughs> and Sicily has a weather that's much more to my flavor than where I'm currently living right now. I'm in the main center of town now, just basically looking for the community building still. So I thought it would be time to gain my composure before talking to the community. While I'm doing so, please subscribe and like the video. If you want to know when more content like this comes out, hit that notification bell. Make sure you don't miss out on anything. I've been, um, we're moving around since, since three, four, since four this morning. It's wearing, wearing me out. You could probably see it. Anyway, point is, before I talk to the community, I wanted to list a few of the communities that I'm going to go see. This is uh, Termini Imereze, that was one of the first, uh, well, this is actually a city of 25,000 inhabitants. And most of the time, to have like the benefits, Italian benefits, there are certain cities that will give you money just for moving to the community, but you have to live in a city that has like, what, 2,000 inhabitants, sometimes less than 1,000. And so for a city of this size to be given away property for one euro, um, it's, it's a little bit appealing. Even if it's slightly outside in a smaller community, I understand. Actually, there was one I saw that's maybe 20 minutes out that was within this district. So I don't know, I'm trying to understand if, I can't find the properties online right now. So I think they're all gone. We, we shall see. But I will be going to some, well, Sambuca, I hope. That one's kind of far out there. It's and all one of those that also seems like it's not gonna have that much. But I'm going to be prioritizing Camerata and um, Musomeli, and then I'll probably there's a bunch in that that region like Katigati, no, Kaniga, Katikani, Katikani. It's like cats and dogs. Is what it sounds like, Katikani. But uh, um, those are all in Agrigento, which is on the opposite side of the island of Sicily. So, we're just down the street. Cathedral is this building behind me. And we're going to go talk to the community now that I'm relaxed a little bit. You can't argue that it's not beautiful. So that was a bust. <laughs> the city, the city was closed, even though Google said it was open. Uh, it was also, I think, the wrong building. There are two buildings. This, this is the first view I've gotten of the actual beach line. This is apparently a uh, a port town. Most of its real estate is parking lot for shipping and packing. So you can see over there. There's a marina, and I can see where I walked from. <laughs> I came from all the way down there. So uh, I'm gonna head back because the community is closed and it makes no sense for me to stay here any longer. I'm gonna go check out some other communities. I was hoping to have more information about the one year homes in Termini and Mereze for posting this video but decided to share what I had so you're experiencing what I am in real time at least as much as possible. I suppose it'll make some great follow-up content. If I had to guess what happened, I can think of two scenarios. One, the city offered the opportunity to the people and the people had no interest. Or, the properties sold out quickly since they are a larger beach town. I mean seriously, 
One hour from a major airport isn't that bad. I happened to stay in a city called Bagheria on my last night in Sicily and found it to be a big contrast to Termini Imerese. At any hour of the day, the streets were chaotic and you could see people everywhere. This was only 25 minutes closer to Palermo. If I was from Bagheria, I'd happily move to Termini Imerese just to be a little further from the chaos. If you're from ba Bagaria or nearby, reach out to me and let me know what keeps you there. If you have a moment, check out the playlist you see on the screen. You just might find something interesting. Thanks everyone again for your interest in this channel. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you soon.